Hi guys and welcome to my Wonderland. I actually kind of like this intro. I I might keep it. I don't know. What do you think? As you may know, I went to the Comic Con this weekend to meet Emily the Rabbit, among other things. And many of you requested that I tell them about the day, which makes sense. But I've decided it would be easier to make a video because otherwise I would just have been repeating the same things over and over and I I think it's funnier this way, right? So I went to this convention with my friend Olivia and uh, in the beginning of the day it already was a mess because I couldn't find a bus, she couldn't find a tram, we got lost like 10 times <laughs> and it was a big mess but we ended up finding each other and so we went to the convention Luckily, as we arrived a bit late, there was not too much queue in, in front of it, so we got to get in pretty quickly. We were like, where are we? We were a bit lost. And then suddenly I, I heard Emily's voice. So I, I grabbed Lydia and we ran to it. Because like, yeah, because that's what we were here for. So we arrived in front of her Q&A, but it was almost over already because we were late but we saw her like for five minutes there and we were giggling like idiots because like she's literally so cute like this this shouldn't, this shouldn't even be allowed like how do you even fit that much cuteness in five feet two how how's that possible so her q a ended and we ran to the autograph and selfie queue to be there in the first and not have to wait too long well it worked because like we arrived there first but we were too nervous to go first, so we let two people go in front of us. And, like, there were cosplayers. There was a Belle one and a Raya one, and they were both literally so good. Uh, I guess they won't be watching this video, but, like, girls, if you if you come here, like, you will literally gorgeous. We had a smart idea with Olivia, because, like, we were both going to take selfies, and we could have taken them at the same time. But we figured, if we did the queue to go and then talk to Emily and do a selfie and then do the queue a second time for the other selfie we would get to talk to Emily twice more so that's what we did and it kind of caused trouble but uh, I'll come back on that later so we waited there for like half an hour maybe 45 minutes because uh well i'm assuming emily went to eat because like every human being <laughs> eats so we waited there and i was sitting on the floor because like we love the floor <laughs> and like when emily arrived i stood up so fast like i i i had a sudden serotonin boost i was like <gasps> that's her <laughs> And honestly, I thought I was gonna be okay, because like, I've met her before, I've been to a lot of conventions before, but like, my heart started beating so fast, I was like, <laughs> I was dying. And like, I think no matter how many conventions I go to, no matter, no matter how many people I end up meeting, um, Emily will always have that effect on me, because like, it, it's her, you know, like, she's just so cute. Like, I... I love her so much. What, what what else am I supposed to say? So she arrived and the people in front of us went to take their selfies and autographs. And while we were in the queue, like Emily saw me and waved at me and I was like <laughs> I was instantly dying because like out of all people she waved at me. Why? Like I loved it, but why? <laughs> like, thank you. Not me being dramatic. <laughs> And like, honestly, if she had just done that, just waved at me, I would have been okay for the rest of my life. But no, she felt the need to do even more, to be even more adorable. Because like, I think she can't help it. I think she just has to be cute. So the people in front of us went, left. And uh, well, we got there for my selfie. And I'm pretty sure I was smiling like an absolute idiot, you know? And I brought her a rose, so I went all rumble, you know, I put it from behind my back, like, hi. And uh, I saw it made her giggle, <laughs> so I was happy. And uh, I also made her a drawing uh, that I'm going to put there. <laughs> and, like, she saw it, she was like, wow, did you, make did you make this? 
and yeah, I was like, yeah, I did. And uh, so she stared at it for a while and then she realized it was for her. She was like, oh, thank you. Like the, the way she says all oh, all the time like that, it's like so cute. Like everything she does is so cute. How? How? I, I'm, I'm never getting over it. So I, I was so nervous. I literally told her I can't speak. And she, she went like, yeah, look, you're doing it. So I felt like really boosted so yay then we took my selfie and like the first time i met her she took two because she's that lovely so i'm gonna put one there and one here did you see that it's like it's so beautiful <laughs> I, i'm gonna die for these pictures i don't think i'm ever gonna change my phone case again because she touched she touched this one <sighs> I'm not crazy, I swear. Maybe I am, actually. Yeah, that's very possible. And, well, after my selfie, I went like, is this okay if I give you a hug? And she was like, yeah, sure. Thank you for asking. Side note. Hearing that made me feel really uncomfortable for her and all celebrities that people hug out of the blue without, without even asking, like, dude, stop doing that. Like, just don't. It's disrespectful. Don't do that. I swear, when I when I hugged her, I felt like I was coming home, you know? <laughs> like, I often say that she's my second mom. And that's exactly what it felt like, to be honest. Like, I felt like, yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that felt just like home, you know? And then Olivia, who was next to me, asked if we could hug her too. And she gave her a hug too. And like, Emily just gives the best, the best hugs. <laughs> that's, that's just magic. Magic hugs. And after that, um, Emily asked if she would see us again the next day. And, well, unfortunately not. But um, we said we would come back later for Olivia's selfie. So she was like, okay, see you soon. So we left after that. And we were like, <laughs> we were like making dramatic noises. And we were like, <laughs> because like, just the emotion of meeting her, you know. <laughs> We weren't processing anything anymore, I think. So there were a lot of awesome stands and people selling stuff. And I got a few pics of that. I don't know where they are. So my hair. <laughs> Fun fact. I saw my double. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But like, I suddenly turned around and saw her. And I was like, hey, can I take a pic with you? Oh, you're French. Oh, awesome. Um, so yeah, that was unexpected. And we also saw so many awesome cosplayers. Like we saw um, Anna and Elsa, who were like magnificent. And we saw a Snow White costume, who was like so great. And um, we saw a bunch of Mirabelle, Belle and Ariel. And the, th the three together were like so good. And like... I, I I was laughing the whole time because like Mirabelle and Belle, ha ha ha, very funny. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I think it's time I show you what I bought, isn't it? So I put everything in a bell bag because, well, it seems appropriate, doesn't it? So let's get started. First of all, I got a pin. I'm gonna like try to show you there because uh, I kind of collectionate them and like I saw this one, I was like, yeah, I need it. Because, like, it's so cute. And, like, you know my passion for Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> like, isn't it obvious? <laughs> then I bought a bunch of stickers that I'm gonna show you one by one. Because why not? Let me just get them out. So I got Entrapta. Catra to go with her. I got Belle because that was obvious. I got Rapunzel because I love her. And why not? I got Mirabelle because she's my new little favorite. And I got Isabella. I actually got that one for a friend, so I'm gonna send it to her soon, I think. <laughs> I'm I don't know if she'll watch this because like she's not really active these days, but like if she sees it, well, you know who you are. <laughs> and then I I I found the best store ever. I bought so many things there. <laughs> So I got three bookmarks that I'm going to show you one by one. So I got Ray, 
it's like wait i'm gonna get it out of there it's literally so beautiful isn't it i also got bell i don't think i need to explain it and i got alice and this one is a quote in french so uh it means uh but then if the world if the world doesn't make any sense um who can stop us from creating one i'm not sure what the actual quote in the movie is i don't remember <laughs> but i think this quote is really beautiful so i took the one in french there also was the same one in in, in english with the we're all mad here quote but i thought this one was like more personal you know and um in the same store i got cards which go by pair so i got ray and ben which is absolutely lovely and i got wanda and vision you because like i don't know but like just do the wanda drawing it's like so beautiful I got the card of the, the trap and I think I'm gonna put it in the description in case y'all want to go see what they have. Um, I'm gonna put here a few examples of what they sell because like it's literally so good. I think y'all should go check it out because it's absolutely amazing and I h highly recommend. And I bought one last thing. Hello. <laughs> ah. There you go. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> okay, it's not holding in place because um, I am supposed to have something to put my hair in before I put the wig on, but uh, I don't have it with me. So this looks a bit weird, but okay. But like, yep, there you go. I got a purple wig. And honestly, my mom doesn't think it's such a useful um, investment. But I think it is. Next month, I'm gonna be meeting Natalia Tena and I plan on making a, a Tonks cosplay. So, yeah, this will help. So, this is pretty much all for the stuff I bought. So, now let's go to the next part of the video, which is the struggle. After we went shopping and eating, we were going to get back to the queue for Olivia's selfie. But we needed cash for that and we didn't have any left. So like we tried to stop at stores or stands and ask if they could exchange money, uh, but none of them were able to help us. So we, we like left the convention and started asking outside if there were like ADM machines or anything, but there was nothing. It felt like the middle of nowhere. Like what is that? And um, I believe we were saved by Nina Zedek. <laughs> the only guy that managed to help us was at a, a waffle stand. Like, he was selling waffles and he managed to give us the cash. So, like, thank you, <laughs> Lord of Waffles. Waffle supremacy. I'm gonna think of him every time I buy a waffle of him and Nina. <laughs> so, after that... We managed to get back to the queue and like there were there were a little more people this time and Emily was there already so like we went in the queue and I was so tired I literally sat down and I I advanced while sitting down <laughs> because why not who's gonna judge me after all who after a few minutes I realized that if I stood up I would be able to see Emily from where I was and I think that was worth having my legs in pain you know so we arrived in front of her for the second time and like there's that dude next to her who takes the money and asks if it's for a selfie or an autograph and like um so it was for a selfie so he gave a post-it to emily with selfie written on it and like emily sees us and she she looks at livia and it goes like oh your name is selfie now livia went like ah that is kind of drôle je sais pas parler anglais <laughs> and Emily literally burst into laughter. I, I think that was the best moment of the day because like she's just so precious and so cute and like ha 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 <laughs> okay <laughs> but like yeah because Emily is the loveliest and never stops complimenting she was like she she looked at Livia's throat and went like oh this is so pretty 
Sylvia took her selfie and then she asked for another hug because like those are precious. And I I got a second one too because I'm gonna help it. And at that point I told Emily that I've had a lot of friends who said I kinda look like her. And she looked at me and she was like, Yeah, you do, I approve. And I was like, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So I, I continued my sentence and I said, which is like the best compliment. And she was like, oh, thank you. And then, <laughs> I'm okay. And then she went like, but you know what? You look like you and that's even better. She literally did wink at me. And I was like, <laughs> like the confirmation that I looked like her wasn't enough. She also needed to compliment me. Like, please. She never stops being so cute, like, she never stops. I love her so much. Then she asked again if she would see us the next day, and we said that no, unfortunately. And she said she hopes to see us again, and that... I don't remember exactly at what point she said that, but I remember she said it. She said to both of us that we looked beautiful, and I love her. So, well, after that we had to leave her. And like, I had barely turned around, I, I, I burst into tears, I was like, I love her so much, like, that compliment was too much for me, I, I had to cry, like, I think, no matter how many conventions I go to, no matter how many people I meet, Emily will make me cry every single time, like, <laughs> I could cry again at any given moment, like, it's only a matter of time. I will cry again. I know it. Who knows, maybe like tonight I'll be laying in bed, looking at my ceiling, and then, out of the blue, I'll start crying again. You never know with me. After that, we just went to get some drinks and sit. And then we had to leave the convention, sadly. But, like, the day ended happily, because, like, on our way out, there was a Bruno cosplayer walking right in front of us. And, like, we couldn't help it. We started singing, we don't talk about Bruno, right behind him. And, like, he heard us and turned around and laughed. And I don't know, I, I, think, that, I, I think that was hilarious. Like, I mean, what else can you expect? When you dress up as Bruno, obviously we're going to talk about you. Not that we're supposed to, but... So that kind of closes the day. I'm not sure that's the right way to say it, but whatever. Uh, yeah, this was an amazing day. Like, definitely one of the best days of my life. It was, like, just so great. And, like, I can't wait to see Emily again. I know I will. She better come back, because, like, I, I need to see her again. And... Yeah, this was amazing, and, well, meeting Livia was great, too, because, like, most of the times when I meet new friends, I am super shy at first, and, like, I'm nervous, and, like, <laughs> but, like, I saw Livia, and it was like, yeah, we saw each other last week, <laughs> so that was great, too, and, well, I can't wait to do that again. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do not hesitate to like, subscribe and leave a comment. It would make me so happy, honestly. And if there is anything else you would want me to make a video about, please let me know in the comments because I really want to start making more videos because like I think this is a, a great thing to do and like I yeah, I would love to make more of those. I think soon I'm gonna make a video about my favorite characters and ships, maybe, and explain why I love them and what they mean to me. And I think I'll also make videos about my book one day. Hehe. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Okay, before you all leave, please let me say one thing. I am gonna start taking commissions uh, for graphic drawings. And, like, the money will be donated to an association called Voices of Children and will be used to help children who are victims of the war in Ukraine. So I'm gonna put that in the description uh, so you can order drawings. And, uh, yeah, the money will be... all of the money will be donated to that association. And, uh, well, I hope... I hope I can help a little with that. 
so this is it. This is the end. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.